Hello, Twitter movies. I love trailers. I really do love trailers. I could spend all day watching them. And the thing about trailers is they're not movies. They're really like a gateway into a movie. They're like a door that opens onto the movie and invites you into it or excites you into it. So I guess the way to go into this premiere of the trailer for Elvis is to go through these doorways into this wonderful grand cinema. And away we go. There are some who'd make me out to be the villain of this here story. Let's don't let a good thing die. Are you born with destiny? Or does it just come knocking at your door? He's a young singer from Memphis, Tennessee. Give him a warm hayride welcome. Mr. Elvis Presley. Get a haircut, buttercup. In that moment, I watched that skinny boy transform into a superhero. Wish to promote you, Mr. Presley. Boardroom party in the town of jail. Are you ready to fly? I'm ready. Ready to fly. Tomorrow, all of America will be talking about Elvis Presley. What is done? I can't move. I can't sing. Some people want to put me in jail. The whale's moving. They might put me in jail for walking across the street, but you're a famous white boy. The way he sang is God-given, so there can't be nothing wrong with it. Senator Kennedy has been shot. Martin Luther King has been shot to death in Memphis. That's all right for you. Tragedy, but it has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with us. Oh, my Lord, my darling. Reverend once told me, when things are too dangerous to say, sing. I'm on before the show, and nobody's gonna remember me. I need to get back to who I really am. And who are you, Oz? You're making the most of this thing while I can. This can all be over in a flash. We are the same, you and I. We are two odd, lonely children reaching for eternity. The greatest show on earth. Elvis has left the building. Hello, Twitter movies. My name's Nelson George. I'm a writer and director. And you've just seen the trailer to Elvis, a movie coming out June 24th. And I'm here with the director and star of the movie, the director, Baz Luhrmann. Nelson. Star, Austin Butler. So, Baz, why did, why did you decide to make a movie about Elvis Presley? You know, someone like Shakespeare would take a very iconic, famous character and try and explore a larger theme. And if you want to explore America in the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s, you couldn't pick a greater, more iconic life than that of Elvis Presley. Austin, you took on an iconic character in Elvis Presley. What, what drew you to this role, and how did you prepare for it? I don't really remember a moment in my life where Elvis wasn't a part of it. I, I remember my grandmother watching his films when I was a kid, uh, uh, Blue Suede Shoes. I, I don't even remember the first time that I heard it. But that's the thing about Elvis is he's sort of become the wallpaper of society. And he's such a superhuman 
figure. So to me, it was the curiosity of finding out who is he as a human and delve into studying everything I could on him and watching every bit of footage countless times and reading everything I, I could and talking to as many people as I could and really getting down to who he was as a man. And that's, that's what I found really intriguing. What's so great about that is we didn't take so much as live it. We yeah. lived the Elvis journey. And in fact, spontaneously, we're in Nashville. And I say to us, do you want to drive to Memphis? On the way there, I get a phone call. I said, let's go to Graceland. Guess what? Priscilla is at Graceland. I said, do you think she'd like to meet Austin? Mm. And we go to Graceland and Austin, you tell what happens in there. They open the door and, and walk in and I'm sort of just waiting in the living room. And eventually she walks in and she's so ethereal. It took my breath away and she, she just looked me in the eyes. And there was something so profound about staring into these eyes that meant so much to Elvis. I, I mean, it gives me chills right now. And then she said, you have a lot of support as she hugged me. That was so huge for me, getting that blessing. Baz, you're, you're incredibly known from Moulin Rouge through, oh, strictly ballroom all the way through, using music in your films. Yeah. How do you take those traditional ideas of what rock and roll is and make a modern movie about Elvis? One of the things that we decided was that the music of Elvis pretty much before the 60s are recordings that you can't really use in a movie. That's the way they're technically recorded. So we made the exciting decision to have the actor playing Elvis sing early Elvis. And then the later part of it, it's, it's Elvis' actual voice blended. How was it for you to interpret those early rock and roll records by Elvis? Well, there's an incredible amount of pressure, first off, <laughs> that you feel, uh, and responsibility, and a desire to do him justice, a desire to do everybody who loves him justice. And I was so shy. I would never sing in front of anybody. I would, I would sing in front of maybe my girlfriend back in the day. And, uh, and then sure enough, Baz just threw me in the deep end right from the beginning. I tell you, I don't think Elvis ever lost that nervousness. Mm. He never lost that mm. vulnerability in front of an audience. And I think the love he gave to audiences and the love he got back was absolutely what was an attempt to fill that giant hole in his heart. So Baz, aside from Austin's role as Elvis, the other central character is Colonel Tom Parker. Oh well, yeah. And he's played by an, another American icon, Tom Hanks. Why Tom Hanks as Colonel Parker? All actors have many more notes to their instrument than they'll ever get to play in an acting lifetime. And one of the most exciting and, and enjoyable things to be part of is to watch a, a really well-known actor play a new note on their instrument. And Tom's never really got to play the I am a not very good person, maybe I'm not sure, note on his instrument, and he plays it loud and clear in this show. I mean, you've got Olivia Dijon as Priscilla, Kelvin Harrison Jr. as B.B. King, Alton Mason is playing Little Richard, Yola as Sister Rosetta Tharp, Dacre Montgomery as Steve Binder, and Gary Clark Jr. is ripping it up as Big Boy Crudup. The phrase T-C-B. Yeah comes up quite a bit. Does. What does that mean? It means taking care of business. It was a mantra that Elvis had. Two of the things that I think that are extraordinary about the American culture. On the one hand, invention, the mm. creation of the new. Two completely different things can come together and make something new. And honestly, that's rock and roll. And the other hand, you have the cell. In show business, when those two things are in a good balance, it's a healthy world. But I think what motivated me towards this film was in recent times, maybe one of those things has got a little bit out of balance. And, and the Colonel was absolutely, ultimately, only about the business. I know how you work. You work on a, on a grand scale. So this is a film that looks like it's really made for theaters. Absolutely made for theaters. And honestly, it's all about giving enough reason for strangers to come and meet in a theater and sit and commune over a story worth stepping out for. For me, Austin, Baz, it's been great to talk to you about this film. It's gonna be a major event this year. Um, you have any final words, Baz? Thanks so much for stepping through the door and after an incredible three year journey, the privilege of this filmmaking experience, I hope to see you all in a theater very, very soon. And like I say on the set, that would be cut. The greatest show on earth. Elvis has left the building.